Four years ago, this wonderful guy named Arshid from Apna Trip invited me to Pakistan for the first time. Four years later, Pakistan has become my favorite place in the world. I adore it here. And now, it's his wedding. So, my job is to get from Peshawar up to Hunza in just three days. With flights being cancelled due to the weather, I had to drive. But, of course, I didn't just drive the normal route. I had to take a route rarely explored. And that route would take me from Peshawar up to Chitral and across the Shandal Pass, finally arriving into Hunza. And let me just say this now. This route was rough. The road was one of the worst I have ever driven on. And everything that could go wrong on a road trip went wrong. Good morning, it's just around 6.30 in the morning and we're stuck. There has been a huge landslide, given the fact that it's been raining non-stop for the last four, five, six days. This entire road usually is not that good anyway and uh, we've been stuck here for around two hours. For the view, I'm not complaining, it's beautiful. But we left at 9pm, it's currently 6.30 in the morning and I don't anticipate on arriving until I guess another three hours. Wow, you can see the road, it is completely destroyed. Because of the hotel that I'm staying at, they've actually organized a car to come to the other side of the blockage. And I'm gonna head straight to the hotel. Inshallah, my luggage will meet me later, but that means I can save just a little bit of time. After finally arriving in Chitral, I headed straight for my hotel named Hindu Kush Heights, a stunning hotel overlooking the entire valley. And I got ready to begin the Jeep adventure across the Shandu Pass. So this right here is going to be my Jeep of choice across the Shandu Pass. This right here is a Vince's Jeep again. I just finished driving back from K2 in a Jeep and I'm back straight in another one. I love them so, so much. I cannot wait to finally do this road trip. So Chalo, let's begin. Before I continue the vlog, I want to answer one of my most asked questions and that is how do I edit? So let me introduce you to Wondershare Filmora. Wondershare Filmora is an editing platform which is easy to use as a beginner with its intuitive design with powerful advanced tools for veteran video editors. Wondershare Filmora's new AI features allow you to spend more time in creating and less time editing. I do have a specific routine of how I edit my videos. I begin with a rough cut, I then find music to fit the feel of the video, I then go back and create the introduction. Once the introduction is complete, I record the voiceovers across the video. Finally, I go back and run through the video, tweaking any small changes and ensuring the audio is smooth throughout. Wondershare Filmora has so many editing tools which allow you to create stunning videos, including transitions, color grading filters, as well as their new advanced AI tools such as Copilot and the speech-to-text subtitles. This AI speech-to-text subtitle aspect is one of my favorites in Wondershare Filmora, as it means I can automatically translate my audio into text without manually going through and creating them and this saves me so so much time and it means I can spend more time outside creating and filming my travel content and less time editing these details. If you want to learn editing or you are already an editor and would love to try out these advanced tools then click the link in the description to download Wondershare Filmora and excel your video editing journey now. Sweet corn. <laughs> and these are the another normal one. What what are these? The popcorn. This is popcorn. Yeah. We're just stopping for some dried fruit on the way. This is a fresh greet. Oh yeah, yeah. The Jeep ride would take two days, with me stopping in a town named Astuj overnight. The road conditions, however. I have just arrived to, I think, one of the most beautiful viewpoints on this trip so far. Behind me, Buni Zom. This is a mountain peak jolting out over 6,000 meters tall. And just right in front of me over this ridge is Afghanistan. Wow. What a beautiful area of Pakistan. I've been dreaming of coming here for over four years. And to be here right now is 
just an honor, number one. But also, it doesn't feel real. Me staring at this beautiful landscape, untouched, may I say, by tourists. Very little tourists come up throughout this route because of the road conditions. The road conditions are so, so bad. But views like this and the journey so far has made it all worth it. Little did I know that when I woke up that morning and set off at 6 a.m. that everything on a road trip that could go wrong went wrong for us and the G ride would take over 20 hours to reach Hunza. Around three hours driving from the town of Mastruz this morning, I finally arrived here to Shandal Top. This is over 2,200 meters high and it's home to the world's highest polo ground and also home to the animals of the ibex, the brown bear and the elusive snow leopard. I'm finally here. What an incredible natural beauty. I've just seen a man walking with his horse wild horse across the plains and I'm going to go and see if I can say hi and potentially ride the horse. Yesterday the polo match was cancelled so I didn't get an opportunity to ride but hopefully he will say yes and I will get to ride a horse on top of here on top of the Shandu bus. So this guy is coming all the way from Fanda which is along the way. How many hours riding is that? Six hours. Six hours riding? Wow beautiful. So I'm currently riding the beautiful horse across the top of Shandu Pass. What a stunning landscape. Incredible, this horse is beautiful, rides amazing, of course. Wow, once in a lifetime opportunity, huh? Incredible. <laughs> This is definitely a day where everything possibly that could go wrong is going wrong. <laughs> oh no. They are protesting, I think, something about the land around this area. So they've blocked off the road. So we cannot pass. It's currently around 12.30. We haven't even made it to Fanda yet. I had the expectation to arrive at 7 p.m. roughly in uh, Hunza. That's not going to happen, and we set off at 6, so it's going to be a very, very long day. After waiting for three hours, we found a small back alley to escape past a roadblock, only to be met with more blockages and then a punctured tyre. I finally arrived to Hunza just after 2am, but alhamdulillah, thankfully I made it just in time for my friend's wedding. The first day of the wedding is named the Mendi. It is a pre-wedding celebration held the night before the wedding, which is named the Nikah. The Mendi is a way of wishing the bride good health and prosperity for their marriage. And then, of course, the party begins and goes long into the night, with phenomenal hunza dancing, a beautiful blend of hand and foot movements, which resemble the eagle. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I have just arrived at tonight's location set in the hills here in Karimabad here in Hunza. I think it has to be one of the most stunning locations anyone could get married. This morning was the Nikah and right now the bride and groom have just arrived. I am beyond happy for them. It's such an honor to be here experiencing this and to be surrounded again by the beautiful Pakistani mountains. I can't wait to see what tonight has to offer. <laughs> Day two ended and quickly rolled into the final day of the wedding, which was a traditional Kowali night. I am so, so grateful to have had my first experience of a Pakistani wedding up here in beautiful Hunza and even more grateful that I got to be at one of my best friend's weddings. I wish them both such a happy future, inshallah. But for now, it's time to continue the journey and adventure further into beautiful Pakistan.